Dear readers of my book, Human Language Evolution, I would like to introduce you to some features of this book, especially where um, the readers can profit from the insights gained uh, through this book, Human Language Evolution, as co-framed by Behavioral and Psychological Universals. In fact, um, human speech is not fully detached of communication in animals. Uh, animal cognition and their improvement along evolutionary history is a real prerequisite for human language evolution. The gene Fox P2 has been shown to be very very crucial for language um, mastering in humans and um, a very particular subset um, of FOXP2 is only present in Neanderthals and humans, uh, whereas FOXP2 is also very important in birdsong and so on, uh, communication in uh, uh, non humans. Um, we think that the first words in humans were monosyllabic and thus our book uh, searches for very short roots in languages and semantic fields. Um, as we know, if we uh, do etymologies of language families as in European, which is a very, very good um, example how etymologists can, um, can conclude uh, cognates in various languages. So if we take in European, we will see that the roots um, between uh, all these 11 language families of European, if you take these, uh, that they are very short roots, they are mostly of the uh, pattern uh, consonant, vowel consonants. Now, consonants are far more diverse than the vocals, and also their uh, expression involves much more of the speech tract in humans. So we have to assume that due to this diversity of uh, consonants, they are rich in information content. And also, um, the very first consonant is like a Q, like the front part of a Q for human languages, and thus is the most informative part of a root. So we confine ourselves in the semantic fields to compare uh, first pulmonary consonants. So we uh, guess that click consonants in archaic languages like Bushman or only there, they might be attention markers in the surrounding of hunter-gatherer populations where um, a totally different approach to communication is given. And um, <clears throat> our book starts with no view over the different language families of the world. And in the next short chapter, I will speak um, about um, the language families 
um, of the world.